Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Nextcloud running on a Raspberry Pi and th this will all be set up and running in Docker which is fantastic. So just quickly in a nutshell what Nextcloud is if you're still trying to wrap your head around it is just a storage service that you can actually run yourself on uh, your own bit of hardware. So you can run on a server and uh, a cloud server uh, you can run it on a you know a desktop that you've got or whatever but in this case we'll be running it on a raspberry pi so the great thing about nextcloud is that it's all open source so let's just zoom in a little bit as you can see here this is their source code for nextcloud so you can come in here make changes you know you can do whatever you want with it uh, and that's great if you're kind of security conscious and privacy conscious about where all your storage and your data is saved uh, so yeah this is just a great alternative to using those big cloud providers uh, like dropbox and stuff like that so hosting yourself fantastic right because you know where everything is stored so in five steps we should be able to get this all set up so i'm going to cover what you need um, installing docker show you how to do that mounting an external drive making folders for the next cloud uh, docker command and then we will run the docker command so let's start at step one so what do you need? Well, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi and I'm going to assume that you have it all set up with a distribution. I am running Raspberry Pi OS, formerly known as Raspbian, um, and I also have an external hard drive plugged in. So let me show you kind of what my setup looks like. I don't know if you can see it. I have my mic cable in the way. I apologize about that, but um, I don't really have anything set up to record my desk, but I have a Raspberry Pi here um, and an external hard drive sitting underneath it. So you can just use the Raspberry Pi if you like, but I do recommend using an external hard drive. So that's what you need uh, to do to be able to do the setup. So next step is installing Docker. So let's go ahead and get that done. So no surprises here. What we're going to need to do is SSH into our Raspberry Pi. Once you've SSH into it, what we can do is install Docker. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the command will be in the description, but just follow along. So it's sudo apt install docker and we'll install docker compose as well and then just hit enter and this will install but as you can see i have those two services already installed but if you don't just wait for that to install and then you'll be able to follow us in the next step so what's our next step mounting an external hard drive okay that's fine so if you are using an external hard drive follow this step if you're not um, there might be a timestamp uh, in the description or something uh, so you can skip this stage so if you are using an external hard drive, what you need to do is actually mount that external hard drive. So first off, we need to find out where it is. So you can do this by running fdisk. Uh, first, we need to do sudo fdisk hyphen L. So this is just listing all your disks that are um, that your Raspberry Pi can see. So if we have a look here, we can see this is our uh, SD card that our uh, Raspberry Pi OS is installed onto. But then we can see this one here, which is my external hard drive, and it's all plugged in and ready to go. Um, so as we can see, it's mounted on dev SDA1. So let's mount that to our a folder. Um, so all we need to do is create a folders for this, and then we'll mount it. So what we'll do is we'll clear this up, and I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is make a directory um, where you want your external hard drive to be mounted to so what we need to do is go forward slash um, and then wherever you want so you can do it where i'm making mine so forward slash mount um, and then let's just call it external uh, but we're going to need to put sudo on that so we've just made a folder called external and now we can mount our sd uh, sorry our external hard drive onto that so the easiest way to do that is just to do mount dev sda1 because that was the name of the drive and then we want to mount to external and then you would run that command um, i have mine already mounted somewhere else but all oh, that's all you would need to do right so i will show you that i have mine mounted just for peace of mind so sudo mount dev sda1 onto uh, mine's on media usb i believe and i hit enter and as you can see here, that's where mine is mounted. So you can essentially mount it in any folder as long as it just makes sense of where it's actually been mounted. Cool. So um, that is step three done for how to mount an external drive. Uh, now just bear in mind, so after the restart, say if you restarted your Raspberry Pi for external hard drive, it will that mount 
will be forgotten so you either have to mount it again using the same command or you can add it um, into a file so then it is uh, automatically mounted on startup i'll leave a little link in the description on how to set that up otherwise this video will be taking for ages just to get over to how to install nextcloud so step four we need to make folders for nextcloud so the easiest way for us to realize what folders we need to make uh, for the docker uh, command to work uh, is by looking at the docker command so as you can see here this is the command we will run so it's actually pretty simple we're just running uh, docker telling it to create a container called nextcloud and um, we will be running this on port 80 so when I say, also when I say name, it, this is using the Nextcloud image and this is where we're naming it down at the bottom. So it, all we're doing here is mounting some volumes for Nextcloud to work. So what we're saying is this local directory on my Raspberry Pi will be mounted to this directory on the Docker container for Nextcloud. So this here is the folders uh, location that we are going to make, okay? So this is the only part of the command that we would need to change. So we'll just come in here and replace these with where your folder locations will be. So let's go ahead and set all of this up so it makes sense. Right, so I'm gonna have these side by side so it just makes a lot more sense for you. So um, what we're gonna do is actually have a location where our files are mounted for our next cloud. So on part, uh, when we're making, setting up the external hard drive, we made a directory, so let's just change into it, called um, mount external, right? So we have this directory, and this is the one we will use for our next cloud. So what you want to do is make, so this is where we are, mount external, mount external, but we just need to make these folders here, next cloud, apps, config, data, and theme. So let's quickly do that by doing sudo, make directory, Nextcloud, right? And then sudo make directory apps. You can see where we're going with this, right? So we just have to make all of these. So I'll see you once I've done that. Cool, so we've run all the commands. Let me clear this up and I'll show you. So ls, and now we have apps, config, data, Nextcloud, and theme. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have all the folders. So now we can mount our local files to our docker container so docker can use our designated location for storage that's all we were doing right so let's go and do this so let's copy this and we'll paste it into our terminal so i'm just going to right click hit paste and as you can see it's going to run sudo docker and it's going to mount all those um, volumes so i just hit enter and docker has now spun that container up so let's just make sure it's running so we can do sudo docker container ls hyphen a so that's listing all our containers now you can see here that 15 seconds ago it was created and it is up on port 80. so now all you need to do is find the ip address of your raspberry pi that you're connected to at the moment and if you ssh into it you obviously know what the ip address is and just put that into your browser so for me, mine is 192.168.1.212. And if I hit enter, bam, this is our Nextcloud instance. Um, and all we need to do now is create an admin account. So let's just call this TikToks uh, admin. And I'll give it a password, super strong. It's not ABC12345. Uh, <laughs> and then you can choose to install the recommended apps if you like um, and then hit finish setup so just click that and now what it's going to do is it's just going to start setting up your next cloud for you so if you're curious you want to see this working in action you can actually come here uh, ls change into um, maybe your next cloud and do an ls here and now you can see files in here right it's using those folder locations you made that docker instance is writing to those folder files so at the moment, it's just setting everything up. It's getting those um, recommended apps and stuff uh, installed for you. Um, and we'll just let it do its thing. Cool. So as you can see now, it's just jumped into the next page. Recommended apps installing. It's installing calendar. Um, so this is where we can actually set up our own meetings and stuff. And you don't have to worry about Google Calendar. It's all, you know, your own personal calendar, which is fantastic. Um, and setting up, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Col Collabora. Collabora. I have no idea. Um, to edit office documents and then contacts so you can have your own contacts and talk so you can have your own like chat app with your like internal family or whoever you give access to with a nextcloud you know it's your own internal little g suite or um 
you know what's the microsoft one OneDrive sort of stuff it's fantastic so what we'll do we'll just leave this to install all its apps and we'll be right back now just quickly why this is actually installing i did want to kind of explain something so if i open up that command we ran see how i've got it mounted on port 80 you can actually run this on any port you like so you could run it on like um on your actual raspberry pi host so here we could have changed this to um 8080 so if we wanted to connect to via our raspberry pi ip address and then 8080 because you're already running something uh, like a web server on your raspberry pi you can do that you can change whatever port you want it mounted on on this side here this side is the docker side so don't change that but here we can change it to whatever we like so i could you know mount it on 8080 and then it's there and then i also have my web server or something so feel free to change that port if you like but otherwise leave it on port 80 right so our next cloud has been set up so as you can see here once on a successful setup you'll see next cloud hub open up and a little arrow here so we click across and you can see here that you know you can host your data and files where you decide 100% um, open source and community focused there's over 100 apps so again there is like an app store for this so you can go through the app store and look up all these uh, community apps and stuff that you want to set up yourself so as you can see here, you can have a music player, your own password manager, a Kanban app, um, all of this cool stuff that you can do yourself. And then they do have a desktop app, Google Play, and a uh, App Store, uh, Apple App Store uh, application. So that's the one I was showing you before. So where's my phone? One sec. So as you can see, this is Nextcloud running on my phone. So all my files and stuff like that are all accessible from my phone. And again, here's just some other stuff that if you want to help contribute to this um, project, you can do that. Um, and then there's also enterprise support. So if you're running this for your business and stuff like that. So once you're all finished reading, we can hit start using Nextcloud. And bam, here we are. This is our environment. So as you can see here, we have a dashboard, which is just like a quick overview of your uh, Nextcloud file. So if we click here, this will load up all where we can save our stuff like that um just pretty typical stuff so we can add files here you know click and drag uh, at work so if i wanted to grab a file from my desktop and put it into here i can let me show you that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a new file a text document test enter click and drag uh, and we'll paste that into i don't know documents now if i click on documents uh test you know just like that it is your own cloud storage it's fantastic well i say cloud it technically is cloud because cloud is just someone else's computer but yeah um photos you can host your own photos so if you use the phone app you can have your phone sync all its photos and stuff straight to your raspberry pi uh to your next cloud um talk which is that app so it's like that chat app so if other people in your family are using next cloud you can all talk to each other fantastic contacts here you can add just your general contacts um, and calendar here you can set up your own calendar and stuff like that as well awesome really really cool uh, and you can also import stuff as well i'm not going to go over how to use nextcloud like into great detail um, but what you want to do is you'll find out that you're actually set up as your admin so what you want to do is actually come into users and you want to create yourself a new user uh, the main reason for that is you don't want to do everything on your admin account because your admin account has full control over the nextcloud environment like installing apps and stuff like that where a general user doesn't have those sort of permissions unless you give that user those permissions so for the sake of this video let's make a new user username uh tick docs display name nick password let's give it a password uh email address um i don't know uh we'll just put a random email address example dot example at example.com um and then if you had like user groups so like we've got that admin so if we wanted this person to be an admin we could add them to the admin group but i'm not going to um i can't remember what the password was that i just set so let's just set a proper one and let's click the tick and then once that account is all set up we can actually log into that account so let's click on this and log out and now let's log into that user i just made Cool, so we just logged in to that new user. Good afternoon, Nick, and this is now my account. So if you wanna make accounts for your family and stuff, this is where you can do it. Now there's so much customization you can do with Nextcloud, I'm not gonna cover it, but this is pretty much how you get started. Uh, you can go on to Nextcloud and look for the desktop client to install the client, go onto the app store, 
or Google Play Store or whatever to download the phone app, you know, and then you sync it all and connect to it using your local IP address. Now, talking about your local IP address, that's where we talk about how the connectivity and stuff works with your Nextcloud uh, setup. So as you can see here, we're using a local IP address, aren't we? So what happens if you want to connect to this while you're not at home? Well, you're going to need a VPN setup. So I actually have a VPN setup uh, that's running on a Raspberry Pi. Um, so I can connect to my Raspberry Pi when I'm away from here, like away from home. And then since I've connected to my Raspberry Pi, I have connection, local connection to my home. So that's how I can connect to my next cloud. Um, so you want to have a, a VPN set up for your home network. Um, if you don't know how to set all that stuff up, actually leave a comment in the description if you want help with that, because I will make a video on how to set up a VPN connection on your Raspberry Pi. Right, but that is pretty much Nextcloud. Uh, again, you can change all of these logos. Uh, you can change everything about this uh, and make it really your own personal cloud uh, for storage. Um, but I hope that was helpful. Um, uh, if you've got any questions, please ask below. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are enjoying these videos because it really helps me uh, know that you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, but yeah, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.